Okay, the next couple videos will be our stage two upgrade from our stage one. You can use this upgrading from the stage one to the stage two, or if you've purchased and you're installing a stage two from the very beginning, use these videos to add tips and you can get a better uh, idea of what it looks like installing the intercooler and the other necessary pieces. So I want to go over real quick how the difference is between the two and how just a, just an overview of what we're going to be doing in the next couple videos. So the first thing we're going to do, we've already got our stage one installed on this vehicle here. So we're going to remove the short pipe altogether. We're going to remove the air filter. We're going to disconnect the uh, power steering reservoir. And all that's going to happen here is we're going to rotate the turbocharger compressor housing in the downward direction so the outlet points towards the vehicle. We'll be adding a hose here, front mount intercooler across here. They'll have a 90, um, 90 degree bend here. It's going to feed back up and it's going to connect back to our throttle body on this side. Okay. Also in this process, we'll be taking a power steering reservoir. We'll be, getting, we'll be modifying just the bracket. It's going to go up. And it's going to go a little bit to the driver, to the passenger side, to allow the clearance for this to come through. We'll also be removing um, the factory transmission cooler if it's automatic transmission equipped, like this vehicle is. So we'll remove the the transmission cooler and replace it with one supplied, and that'll remove these um, hoses or pipes here as well. Now these come down here, and they attach right on the back side here. We'll show you in that step coming forward. But real simple, just overview, removing the charge pipe, adding the front mount intercooler, and on this one side there is a power steering hose that gets replaced. Everything's included as always with Project Performance. Let's do it. Alright, so real simple to remove, unplug. We'll take our intake air temperature sensor off later and install it on the other hose that's also supplied. Now we're just going to make some room. <laughs> room so we can access some of these components. Yep. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I just quickly loosened all of the six bolts. Uh, they're half inch, 13 millimeter, and you should be able to rotate this just like that. So that's how it works. Hopefully you can see that pretty good. But So when we're ready, we'll rotate that down. Okay, the power steering reservoir, now one bolt, and it's loose. Bracket for it, the two fasteners. This customer has a lot of uh, aftermarket lighting here, so we got to be careful around this area here. Some of this we need, we need to move so that our components fit. So we got the fan wire harness, comes along the front here, it's tied down here with this little push pin here, another one down there. So loosen both of those up. Now the idea is we want to take this harness, we want to pull it up, we're going to route it across the top of the headlamp bucket right up here. Uh, there's a small <clears throat> piece of the, of the radiator overall support on this bottom side here. You take about half inch of it off, you know, again it's just plastic, it moves pretty simply. Then I take these pieces off too because they're it just looks better if they're finished. It's not going back on those holdings, so there's no reason to have it still in place. Like I said, this one's a little tighter because it has all this aftermarket wiring, but something like this give us plenty of room for that to come down and go through there. All right. Okay, there's a factory trans cooler here and the feeding lines. So I'm going to leave this connected for right now. We'll disconnect those in a minute. Um, but for now, let's remove the factory transmission cooler. Very quick processes. 
really not difficult at all. Ten millimeters on that side. It's like eight millimeter on this side. Rag, try to catch all the fluid if we leak any. I mean, literally, 45 seconds to remove that. Okay. And then this just goes around down the bottom there, connects to the Jiffy Jif type fittings. Okay, so we're underneath here the driver's side headlight right around where the radiator's at. This is, a, this is where we're gonna disconnect the factory transmission cooler lines. And this is also where we're going to reconnect. So this vehicle has a different inner fender liner, but if you need to pull that back, that's what you need to do. To get the lines out that we're removing, we're gonna remove this number eight bolt here, eight millimeter bolt. We'll push these two pieces back here. This is the retainers for the Jiffy Tight clips and uh, then we'll be able to remove that housing. It's gonna be hard to videotape. I'll do that, then I'll show you what we did. So I took the one eight millimeter bolt out, undid both of the clips for the trans cooler lines, and uh, now I just need to pull out this is the pipe here. So you can see those clips. I can show you quickly how they work. There's a flared line that goes into it. This piece goes around the line, would go into there. And then as you rotate it, you can see it, see them stand up. And then they, they go out and you pull the fitting away. If you don't have a tool like this, you simply get a pick and you pick the middle of it out. I'll show you that as well. Okay, so if you got the Jiffy Tight tool, you don't need anything else. You put it in there, you rotate it, and then pull it out. If you don't have that, this is real simple here. You're gonna maneuver this, keep picking at it till you can get behind it. Okay, like so. And then you'll be able to pull it. You'll simply remove the entire clip, then disconnect your piece. Now, to, this is how these work to put them back together. You, you reassemble the fastener first. Okay, just goes on here. Okay, now it's back together. And then once the clip is on, clip, you just push it straight in, click, goes on, then you install the plastic retainer that slides around the outside. As simple as that. Good, quick, easy transmission connections. That's why they use it.